Well, while we didn't see any rain down here today, I think it is a worthy note of making that northern Mississippi again, making this note again that northern Mississippi did see a few little spot showers here this afternoon. But as we're coming on into the afternoon, we remain high and dry cloud cover for a lot of us here. Definitely some partly to mostly cloudy skies for some of us out there. But as we're heading on into the evening, we'll start to clear out and look more like Philadelphia as we're heading on into the evening temperatures right now in those mid and lower 80s. We'll stick back into those mid 70s by the time we're on in and through the dinner time hour, looking at lower 60s, moving on more towards bedtime later tonight. As for the overnight hours, temperatures still about 8 degrees above average, upper 50s. Averages sit in those upper 40s, lower 50s there. So we're a little bit above the average, but we have been for quite some time now with average highs. Once again, sitting in those mid 70s, we were in the upper 80s for our highs today. And well, we will be for not just today, but also tomorrow and Tuesday as well. So we're in a little bit of a hot streak there. As I said, October proving to be the driest that it has been since 2005 with no rain throughout basically the whole month thus far for most of central Mississippi. But as we're coming into the next few days, we will see rain increase, but not for Monday. Temperatures start out in those upper 50s, so a little bit warmer than what we have been. But as we're coming on through the day, upper 70s through that lunchtime hour, mid 80s, mid and upper 80s again tomorrow for our highs. Sunny to most sunny skies throughout the day. Those clouds rolled through today because of that cold front that rolled through. We didn't really see any cooling off because of that, but as we're moving through the next few days, we do still see plenty of sunshine. Sunny to mostly sunny skies as we're heading through the first part of the work week. Now, I don't need to remind you of the drought monitor. This one came out Thursday. Still very dry out there. Northern Mississippi did get those showers, but probably didn't do much to, to make a dent in this most in this moderate to severe drought pattern they're seeing up there as well as down here here in central Mississippi, still seeing that abnormally dry condition. Same with southern parts of Mississippi as well. Now I did mention rain in the forecast. It's not going to be the drought buster we need, but I'll go ahead and scroll through Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. No rain in the forecast. We come into Wednesday, Wednesday afternoon into the evening. This is five, six o'clock in the afternoon. We do see this, which not much, but it does give us some hope for the next day, which is Thursday. Here's where we could see that rain. Another cold front rolls through and as it does brings rain in in the afternoon. This is from two o'clock. Two on into the evening there. This is now nine o'clock by Thursday evening. We are seeing that rain pull through on through Friday morning, but it does let off by Friday afternoon. So we do have that chance of rain. It's not going to be the drought buster we need, but it does provide some moisture in the ground. As for the tropics, things are starting to kick back up just a little bit. We got that one area of interest right there with a 40% chance of development over the next seven days. So we'll continue to monitor that. As for your next seven days, Temperatures over the next few days still in those mid and mid upper 80s. There chance of rain on Wednesday, Thursday and Friday. See that back off there with the temperatures back down to the low 80s Thursday and Friday because of that cold front rolling through. But we're back in the mid 80s with mostly sunny skies by Saturday and on to this coming Sunday. So by Thursday, it won't officially be the driest October. We'll have at least some rain. We'll, we'll have gotten a little bit of rain, yeah. but this isn't like the it's not, it's not as much as we were looking for. It's, li it's liquid on the ground. Exactly. Which so. is good because dry ground actually doesn't absorb moisture as well as moist ground. Mm -hmm. So this is what we need to get before the drought buster comes. Okay, well, 